two of our uh, loin we're gonna cook, right, Reed? Yep. So we're gonna light the green egg. We'll show you all how to do that, Reed. You wanna you wanna jump in there and show them how to get it done? There's a fat wood. Uh, why don't you go ahead and stick the fat wood in there and I'll explain what fat wood is. So fat wood is like a pine tree that, that when it gets big, old, and dies, it all like soaks down the bottom, and this is a really flammable wood that's real natural. So we put that down in the coals and we'll uh, get it lit up and get it going. So see, this is the uh, natural lump charcoal. So Reed, poke that down there a little deeper for me, buddy. Cause we gotta get the fat wood underneath the uh, charcoal. It's not advisable to wear your best clothes doing this either. I forgot my best clothes. It's good, lighten up. Keep going. All right, so we'll prep the meat next. Get it going. It's good. So we got our little bell peppers that we chopped up. Then we got some mushrooms that we chopped up. Then we got some onions that we chopped up. And we got some of this candy bacon that we got from our friend Josh in Texas. So we're gonna go kind of saute this. Just the water is the What did you have in that pan? So what did you have in the pan to begin with? I had a pan, I drilled some olive oil. Well, so the wishes here. This is going to go in our meat. Why are we cooking ahead of time? So the flavor will get going. And the vegetables will start getting soft. Mm -hmm. so and what, we got some salt and pepper, right, Rick? Yes, sir. So yeah, put some salt and pepper on already. So we'll put a little more. When you're doing beef, you can never have enough salt and pepper, right? That looks good. So that's bacon. And the candy bacon. Of, candy bacon, excuse me. What else? Did you say mushroom? Mushroom. Bell pepper. And onion. And onion. Mmm. That looks from delicious. Put some garlic powder in there. That is going to be good, good, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that meat open, and we're going to lay this in the middle and then wrap it up with butcher twine, and then we're going to cook it. we got the green egg started out there. So this is going to be good. Okay, so Reed, we're going to... Um, we're gonna prep our meat now. So show us how we're gonna cut that top open. So we're gonna cut the top open by your knife. You're gonna cut about halfway down. You're gonna do it all the way across. And then after we're done doing that, we'll get all the stuff that we have in that pan that we just sauteed, and we'll put it in it and lay this over. All right, so we got this laid open. Reed, why don't you go get our, um, get our pan and your spatula. All right, so Reed, why don't you go ahead and spread that in there. Then we'll tie it up with a butcher twine. All right, so we got, okay, go ahead. So we got all of our, all of our stuff in it. 
So we're going to lay this over it and tie it with butchering. Uh, butchering Lay this over it. And with the butchering string, we're going to wrap it around and put on the green egg that we have out there going. So we're tying it with the butchering string. And we're going to put it on the green egg. We're not experts, are we, Reed? Really. <laughs> you just got to tie it up because it makes it cook more even if it's not got flat stuff laying out there. <laughs> So, that's essentially here, right there, right there, right huh? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's off. And we're going to put some uh, salt and pepper on the outside. Hey, so, B, you are just so adorable. Are you adorable, Toby? Especially those shoes on me. We will wipe those salt and pepper shakers off, I promise. All right, we've got it wrapped up. We put a little more brown sugar on the outside of it. We're ready to go put it on the grill. All right, let's go check it out. So we set the green egg up for a heavy smoke. So we're gonna do a little smoke up front. You know what this plate setter is for? Do you see that, the, the, the ceramic part in there? Okay. That ceramic part keeps the fire from hitting the meat directly. It's good for indirect cooking. So why don't you take that and put that on there? You did wash your hands, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All right, so we're gonna let that smoke. We're gonna set it up about 250 for a little bit, and then we'll, uh, we'll turn it up a little bit later about that. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go, on the way. <laughs> so we got the meat temp up to, uh, where are we at, Reed? Just 132. So open it up, check it out. So you can see it's looking pretty nice. Wow. So we want to finish this. We want to get to about 140, but we're going to finish it in what we call a crutch. Yeah. So Reed, why don't you get that, pull that, and transfer that over here to our to our crutch. Careful. It's purposely got that crust on the outside, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving. Like this hurts. Hey, just said it's not burnt like your toast <laughs> <laughs> so pull this up and we made this um this is basically water with soy and some salt and I garlic that was your coffee no this is not coffee yeah. we're gonna put a little of that in there for some moisture and we're gonna seal it up and we're gonna put it back on the grill and shut the grill down and let it finish. What we'll do you mean? That, what do you mean? Shut the grill down? Like turn the temperature off? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it so that it will go out. Leave the meat temp in there. Close it down. Gonna turn this all the way off and turn the air all the way off. That's the great thing about the green egg, right? Mm -hmm. You can close it off and it just kind of goes out. So it'll hold the temperature, and we'll let it sit till we get to 140, and we're gonna eat. How about mm -hmm. it? How long then will you have to it. sit there? Guys, probably 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So, Reed, tell, tell us about what you did here. So we did our we did our loin, and it's done crunching. So we're gonna um, slice it now. And what 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 meat tin did we make it to? Um, 140. 140. <laughs> <laughs> and we let it sit for about 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's take a look. We scrubbed no. this a little bit, so we got some juice it? in the bottom of it. Did I take it? No, I did not. I did not taste oh, is it. Your bite took it I have no idea what it was a bite take it. it. Must be mom. Must be mom. <laughs> so you want to you want to cut the string? Mm -hmm. Sure. It's not a knife. I don't know why. We're up here with no knives. We got to figure this out. You want the electric That's fine. We're not in the, in our kitchen, so. <laughs> Aunt Debbie's kitchen. Okay, Reed, so uh, tell us what you got going on here. So I'm cutting off the butchering string. We've had this, uh, this tenant for about, what, about 15 minutes after we, uh, after we hit 140?
We are cutting it right now. Okay, so we're going to transfer this over onto plate. Get this old tin pole out of the way. And this brown, brown juice down here, Reed, that's the best steak sauce you can get in it. Pour that over when you're done. Are you eating? You're not eating, are you? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. Put this in the trash. This is pretty, isn't it, Reed? Get a napkin that he can put that paper towel that he can put those strings on, right, please. So he doesn't lay them just directly on the counter. It makes the long. Okay, yeah, of course we will. I'm a very clean cooker, but I'm Let's pour that juice off here. Sit down. Just like that. Um, you want to run the knife? Let's see. No, you, me? Doesn't matter. So let's see what we got here. different people to cook for. So we've got, I'm hoping for medium rare in the middle. Okay. You want to cut some, Reese? Can you open this? See if I can do it. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to impress my wife. <laughs> what? What you think? Yeah, I don't know how I did that, Julie. Yes, what do you think, Reed? All right. Here, Mama. Oh my God. All right, look. We ain't pretty. Yeah, we can cook. Yeah, we're pretty, and you can cook. All right. Good job, Reed. And Daddy. Part two of the loin. Done in the books. Signing off. Country fried, baptized in gravy. Can't wash off what the good Lord made you. No matter how far that highway goes, an old dirt road to get you home. Come on. If you see it in the ride when they try to lie, you the bullet hole in a stop sign kind. Then I'm right there with you. Put your drinks up high for my country folk. My country folk.